comment, and subscribe. Thanks! Hi everybody! So, um, if you're, if you've never seen my channel before, um, that's likely. This is one of my first tapings. It is a new channel. I'm sorry, there's laughter in the background. So, um, this is a new channel, but this is a poetry channel. Um, so welcome to Drippy Art. Well, not exclusively poetry, but right now it is. So anyway, um, one of the things I've been doing on here is animating my poetry and um, uh, uploading it for everyone to, to see. Um, but one of the things I wanted to do when I animated them and uploaded them is, um, first of all, read them first. I love the animation process and I love animating the poetry. However, um, I felt like it needed me to explain. It needed me to kind of talk about them. Um, and so that's what I'm here to do. And today I'm going to be reading, um, it's, it's titled The Greatest Thing I Ever Wrote. That's what it's put in my book as. Um, but that the title is, you know, of some of my things tend to change over time. And I think I titled that initially um, because of the content. It is a story written to my younger self. So I, what happened um, when I wrote this poem is I was having a very difficult time in my life, a very stressful moment. And I think during these times, it is really important for an individual to be able to sit back and kind of assess where you were a month before that happened or six months before that happened or even a year before that happened um, to kind of bring better perspective to your actual pain if you think about where you were six years from the moment you are now from now um, six years past it very well could have been a much harsher place you could have been in a worse place most likely that is the case <coughs> Excuse me. When you're sitting and having a rough moment, it is likely that, you know, six months prior or sometime in your past, you had a rough, a, a more strenuous moment. Um, and that's where writing comes into play and having these, this poetry comes into play. This was me having a very stressful moment and writing to my past self to let her know basically that you get through all of this. Um, and this is one way that writing really helps me. Um, and I think that's why the title was so strong at the moment um, I wrote it because of, again, the content. So without further ado, um, is there anything else I want to tell you about this poem? Um, this was a really unique poem for me just because this is not typically how I end poems. I like to end poems pretty clean, but however, uh, I didn't do that here because sometimes the reason why isn't cut and dry. The reason why isn't clean. Sometimes the reason is just pretty simple. And so when you get to the end of this poem, it kind of gets a little uh, interesting. Um, but it was important to do it that way for me. So here we go. Um, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna read you the poem and then I'm going to show you the animated version of this poem. Again, I, I attempt to animate all my poems, not attempt to animate them, I will animate all of my poetry. So um, after I read you the poem, you'll be able to see um, that. Don't cry, little girl. It will all turn out okay. You'll find love in your own way. I know you're standing in the face of endless pain, but from here on, it's strength that you'll gain. I'm not saying it won't be hard. There are many mountains in front of you and you'll get tired, but one day you'll rise above and be admired. So take this time to feel inspired by all those not unlike you who feel less than desired by the people whom fate had hired to teach you all things so their knowledge you could acquire. 
for trial and error was never fate's desire. You should have had a hand to hold as you walked through life's fires. But here we are now. You can take this as a loss or an opportunity to fill that spot your family should have held with someone who won't walk away even if compelled by the sound of your voice when you didn't mind your manners and decided to yell. These people do exist. I wouldn't tell you no lie. So hold your head up and wipe the tears from your eyes. Now listen to me, little girl. Here are a few rules you must apply to your everyday life if you wish to stand a chance to thrive. If you find a good friend, always keep them close. If you open your eyes, it's not that hard to see who loves you the most. Now this one is important, so listen up close. Don't put too much value into your face or your clothes. Think of these things as icing on a cupcake or nail polish for your toes. These garnishments don't mean shit if you treat people like they are the con and you are the pro. So I have to leave you now that my work here is done. But remember you're still alive, so you've already won. You've proven yourself now, but before I go, I need you to repeat this vow. Even if it's hard, I won't give up, because I am made of the toughest stuff, and I will walk away from anyone who says that I am not enough, because you can't help it that some people are dumb. Just shake that shit off, because your life is far too precious to waste it not having fun. And again, that's, um, you need kind of these types of poems in your life to remind yourself um, that it's all right. Whatever's going on, regardless of how difficult it is, it will end up okay. So, there you go. Don't cry, little girl. It will all turn out okay. You'll find love in your own way. I know you're standing in the face of endless pain, but from here on, it's strength that you'll gain. I'm not saying it won't be hard. There are many mountains in front of you, and you'll get tired. But one day you'll rise above and be admired. So take this time to be inspired by all those not unlike you who feel less than desired, by the people whom fate had hired to teach you all things so their knowledge you could acquire. For trial and error was never fate's desire. You should have had a hand to hold as you walked through life's fires. But here we are now. You can take this as a loss or an opportunity to fill that spot your family should have held with someone who won't walk away even if compelled by the tone of your voice when you didn't mind your manners and decided to yell. These people do exist. I wouldn't tell you no lie. So hold your head up and wipe the tears from your eyes. Now listen to me, little girl. Here are a few rules you must apply 
to your everyday life if you wish to stand a chance to thrive? If you find a good friend, always keep them close. If you open your eyes, it's not that hard to see who loves you the most. Now this one is important, so listen up close. Don't put too much value into your face and your clothes. Think of these things as icing on a cupcake or nail polish for your toes. These garnishments don't mean shit if you treat people like they are the con and you are the pro. So I have to leave you now that my work here is done. But remember you're still alive, so you've already won. You've proven yourself now, but before I go, I need you to repeat this vow. Even if it's hard, I won't give up. Because I am made of the toughest stuff. And I will walk away from anyone who says that I am not enough. Because you can't help it that some people are dumb. Just shake that shit off. Because your life is far too precious to waste it not having fun.